What's up, guys? It's Chris here to do predictions for this weekend's upcoming HBO doubleheader fight or doubleheader uh, card event, whatever you want to call it, going down in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. First up, you got a fight between former light heavyweight kingpin or champion, at least Chad Dawson, bad Chad Dawson, taking on Adrian Diakonu. I was surprised when I was, uh, you know, doing research for this fight and whatever, that Dawson hasn't fought since I lost to Pascal. I don't know why. It just seemed like he had fought since then. Uh, Maybe because Pascal had fought in that time and he's going to fight again, you know, basically twice in the same time that Dawson's going to have fought once. But, um, yeah, that was a good fight. You know, obviously, Chad, um, that was kind of Pascal's coming out party, although he had a good win uh, over Jermaine. Or, um, no, he actually lost to Frosch. My bad. But he did have a good win over Adrian Jocano in their first fight. It's a really good performance. But, um, yeah, Chad, he's been out of the ring since then. I don't know. Hopefully, he's been able to shake any uh, doubts he's had since I lost to Pascal. Not that I think it should be a problem against Adrian Diakonu. No disrespect to Adrian Diakonu. But um, <laughs> I just don't see he has any chance in this fight. He's got some power, you know. Dawson, people can question his chin. I think he showed a pretty solid chin against Pascal for the most part. Um, but honestly, I think Chad's just way too skilled and just way too good overall for Diakonu. I don't really see Diakonu having much success in this fight as well. I think Chad's going to handle him easy. It'll probably go to decision, though, because Diakonu is pretty tough. But um, as you saw in the Pascal fights... But either way, I got Chad, bad Chad Dawson, winning by unanimous decision, easy, and hopefully for him, at least, taking on the winner of the main event. Speaking of the main event, the rematch between uh, John Pascal and Bernard Hopkins for Pascal's Light Heavyweight Championship. The first fight, as I want you to know, by now ended in a draw, controversial. I actually believe that I had Pascal winning that fight. I'm pretty sure I watched it the second time and scored it, and I had him up by like one point. Um... I know that wasn't really the popular vote, but that's just the way I saw it. Whether I'm right or wrong is debatable, along with, you know, everyone else's, except for maybe the judges. Those judges' um, rulings in the first fight were much more debatable or questionable based on some of the scorecards. That said, the first fight was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I'll tell you that much for sure. I thought Pascal would win. I thought, you know, Hopkins' age will catch up with him. But that wasn't the case. You know, Pascal had a couple of knockdowns early. I love the one in the first round was questionable. Um, but, man, from, like, mid-fight on, it was all Hopkins. I... I thought Pascal would win just on being the more active fighter and just doing more because Hopkins has been so economical with his punches um, at this stage of his career. But he actually outworked Pascal. I don't know if Pascal just got gassed or got overconfident and, or if Hopkins just was able to, you know, um, establish, maybe take Pascal's best shot and it shook Pascal, you know, a little bit mentally. I don't know really what the deal was there. But uh, Hopkins controlled the latter half of that fight, walking away with the majority of the, uh, the late rounds or the second half of the rounds. Um... You know, and a lot of people thought he deserved to win and become the oldest uh, title holder, world title holder, or world champion in, in boxing history. And, of course, he's going to repeat that here. The one thing I will give Hopkins up before I even talk about who I think is going to win or why, but um, I'll give Hopkins credit for this. You know, that fight happened in Canada and, uh, you know, where uh, Pascal fights out of. A lot of people assume the rematch would be in the United States, but Hopkins is willing to go back up there to Canada again and take the fight on um. Pascal's home turf, so you got to give Hopkins credit for that. As for the fights, had a good build up, you know, had the little stare down uh, thing on HBO, had the press conference with the little, I guess you would say, scuffle, a lot of trash talk between the two leading up to this fight. There definitely seems to be some genuine animosity, which you can't always tell with uh, Hopkins. He's a good uh, self promoter, you know, like when he did the thing with Trinidad, when he pushed Winky Wright during the win, which was ridiculous. But um, these two generally seem not to like each other. Um, I think Hopkins probably is better at dealing with mind games once it gets into the ring. You know, I don't know how Pascal would do it, but Hopkins has shown time and time again. It's not really an issue for him. As for the fight itself, I'm going to go with Pascal again. Um, maybe the dumb pick, considering how bad he looked in the latter half of that fight against Hopkins the first time around. But as long as he can just keep up the punch output, just stay active. He should be able to win this fight. I mean, you don't got to you know, land hard shots here and there. You don't have to dominate the fight, per se, although I don't think anyone could really dominate Bernard Hopkins the way he fights and just how, how good he is um, inside there. But I think Pascal just does, if Pascal just does a, a little bit more than we did in the first fight. If he would have done that in the first fight, there might not have been as much controversy, but he didn't. So this is his chance to redeem himself. As for Hopkins, obviously he's just followed a blueprint that he laid in the, fir the first fight, you know, and uh, try not to get knocked down. I mean, that's easier said than done. But if he's able to stay on his feet and just pick up where he left off from, then he could win this fight, you know, make history once again. Or 
I don't know if he'd make history once again. I don't know if he's made history in the past, but he would definitely be making history in this fight if he is able to win. But yeah, I don't think it will be as good as the first fight, but um, because but the first fight did exceed my expectations. But I don't think it'll be a good as the first fight. Um, but I think it should be a pretty entertaining, competitive fight nonetheless. I think it'll be close. It'll probably go down to a split majority decision, something controversial again, most likely. But in the end, I'm going to go with Pascal to win this fight by decision, whether it's split, majority, controversial, or what I think Pascal is going to get this. So, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the fight. Um, if anyone thinks Diakon is going to win the fight against Chad Dawson, please let me know why. Um, and who you got in the main event? Who did you think won the first fight between Hopkins and Pascal? Or did you have it a draw? Um, and who do you favor in the rematch and why? Talked about this event yesterday on Science Science Radio Show. You can always go check that out on Podcast on Demand. Um, we'll be talking about the results on next Sunday show. Um, man, what else was I going to say? I forgot. But, um, oh yeah, I'll put the link to that in the uh, information part of the video as usual, as well as a link to my Twitter and a link to sciencefinds.com. So for now, guys, until next time, 